Well, last but not least in this uh, collection of tracking and analysis objects, I want to look at Bonk, which is an impulse tracker. So the way that it works is it tracks the loudness of a signal in two ways. If you take a look at the output from the leftmost output, this is the raw. This is a set of 11 frequency bands worth of loudness. And it might help if I could spell frequency. Now, out of the middle outlet, though, it has something a little bit more interesting. This is a summed or cooked output of velocity measured from 0 to 100 as the sum of the square roots of the 11 bands normalized that 100 is about 1, effectively. To use that, we first need to run the center outlet of bonk into zl.slice1. That will strip the instrument number from the list and give us this summed velocity list, which we're going to take and we're going to slice. Doing that will give us something that we can use. So right now I've set it so that if the uh, target velocity is above 66 or equal to it, then it will play this trigger uh, toggle, sorry, right here, and it will light up. If not, it won't. That makes this very, very, very useful when tracking things like percussion. So let's try it with the bassoon. There we go. You can see the output here of all of these uh, numbers from the 11 frequency bands and the summed velocity here uh, in multi-sliders. So the cello starts out quieter and ramps up until it hits that velocity. Let's try the drum loop. That's where this really shines, is tracking the louder hits from the drums. It's a really, really useful object, and one that sadly doesn't get as much love as it needs to.